Dear colleagues, let me present results of the research on the topic of peculiarities of augmented reality usage in a mobile application, the case of Ivan Bului Digital Museum. Digitalization of objects of scientific and cultural heritage allows you to form an additional information layer of extended reality for the preservation, research and active implementation of the most important national and socio-cultural phenomena in the era of the post-industrial information society. The purpose of the project is analysis of recommendations regarding the information and technical structure and implementation of specific capabilities of a mobile application with augmented reality functionality. Integration of a panoramic museum tour, the virtual space of Ivan Pelu's laboratory, and marker augmented reality objects within a single program and information complex dedicated to Ivan Pelu's physical, technical, social and political activities. The slide shows the use case diagram of the developed application. User interaction starts from the main menu where they can choose the interface language, read information about the project, developers and view a tutorial on how to use the AR segment of the application. This segment contains digital models of inventions, models created with photogrammetry process and audio accompaniment. All multimedia elements are displayed after the camera reads the corresponding target card. Also, from the main menu, the user can choose to view the virtual space of laboratory or to take a look at the panoramic exposition of the Ivan Pelu Digital Museum. On current slide, we can see the interface of interactive mobile application with elements of augmented reality for the Ivan Pelui Digital Museum. The UI is based on intuitive icons accompanied by textual explanations. For the convenience of the user, there is an option to switch the language of information content display. The educational part of application which instructs the visitor on the use of the AR functionality is important to be read. To demonstrate 3D models of the most remarkable inventions of Ivan Pului, a set of 12 cards were created, which have embedded markers of augmented reality. For this, archival drawings and photos of exhibit devices developed by the famous physicist were selected. Some examples of them we can see on this slide. When viewing the models presented on this slide, it is possible to examine the design of devices in detail. Some particular examples are Pelu's phosphorescent lamp with a cup-shaded cathode, Pelu's lamp with elliptical fluorescent plate, Pelu's incandescent lamp with carbonized filament, Pelu's apparatus for measuring the mechanical equivalent of heat and X-ray experiment with Pelu's cathode tube. The photogrammetric method was used to create 3D models of the memorial sculptures of Ivan Pului. It is based on the processing of several hundred of photos taken using digital camera with wide-angle lens in high resolution, with partial overlap of image areas taken at differing angles of view. Separately, several circular passes at different heights relative to the scanning object and additional pictures of important details were performed. On the basis of a set of photographs using specialized algorithms, a dense point cloud, a depth map, a structured mesh of an object are created, with the ability to generate post-processing of the model and export it in the required format. During field work, it was established that at least three to four hundred photographs are needed to create a high-quality 3D model of the monument. Since direct sunlight creates an overexposed color gamut, reflections appear, surface detail decreases and this directly reduces the quality of textures. Therefore, uniform and diffused lighting is optimal. Models that are pictured on this slide created from real monuments located in Ternopil National Technical University. In this project, the virtual panoramic tour has been adapted for the mobile devices. The possibility of a guided video tour or independent research of the virtual exposition has been created. 
At the same time, each stand is accompanied by the audiovisual support, and the user can easily adjust the accompaniment and natural tactile navigation through the museum according to his preferences. And that's it. Thank you for your attention.